This poem's by Harry Baker and it's called Dinosaur Love. I want to say I love you, but I think it's not enough because when people say I love you it can mean a lot of stuff like I've always got your back or I'm glad I'm not alone or I'll say almost anything to get you off the phone because I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. And these Doctor Who box sets aren't going to watch themselves. I want to say I love you but it seems it's not enough because when people say I love you it can mean a lot of stuff and all I really want to say is... I want to love you like a T-Rex with a tiny brain but a giant heart and if I was a T-Rex I would hold you in my T-Rex arms and protect you from harm because that's dinosaur love. It's the way you send spines down my spine like a stegosaurus or how like with dinosaurs no one cares what came before us because I've got a love so big it cannot be ignored like how when you're with a dinosaur everything else seems secondary. Dinosaurs are not mythical creatures they are legendary plus they're just really cool. The thing about dinosaurs is yes they're really awesome, more than that they actually existed, my love is real. I ain't talking blindly walking strings attached like Theseus, that's minotaur love. This is dinosaur love. This ain't no damsel in distress, trap princess, dragon slaying quest, cause one, dragons never really happened, and two, most women don't need rescuing. This is less prancing unicorn and more two-ton triceratops, or terrifying pterodactyl, bringing terror from above its dinosaur love. Molten rock and meteoric. Trust me, I've got a love so old school that it's prehistoric. So if we're into Spielberg or hip-hop with a classic vibe, then we could watch Jurassic Park or listen to Jurassic 5, and if you like a bone, then I know a place where we can see him. I'm a lifetime member of the Natural History Museum. I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough, because actually, like dinosaurs, that could be quite scary. Imagine hiding in the kitchen from a velociraptor pack, and if I stuck my neck out like a diplodocus, what would you do back? Because I've got a love like dinosaurs, but the thing about that kind of thought, it's probably slightly more amazing in my head. Because if dinosaurs did come back to life, one of them might maim a politician's wife and then the government of said politician's countries plus allies might decide worldwide for the protection of mankind to annihilate dinosaurs on sight. A mass extinction isn't that romantic. I want to say I love you, but that could be kind of awkward and so for now I'm happy to let that thought remain in my head where it cannot go wrong. And if in time my dino love dies out as you'd expect, when it's extinct I'd rather we remained friends than became exes. But if somehow, against all odds, my dino love proves so colossal that it stands the test of time perfectly preserved like a fossil, then one day, when you've been left in ruins and you want someone's help to help excavate through them, it won't take an archaeological expert to point you towards me. And at that point, I'll point out that you're like a Brachiosaurus, because there's no one above you. And I'll be able to look you in the eyes and say,